Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the part, um, part 8 of our WCFTCPIP duplex chat application. From this part, we just bang on straight from where we left off. But before we go on, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So we, we just we just did the, the chat layout. So before we move on, we go inside the code behind this. Um, within our chat layout so inside that inside that code behind this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna have a public label and <clears throat> we're gonna call it message title. And of course it will be a get setter. So the get will be, we're gonna return a title, if you may recall. And the setter will be title is equal to the value so the next bit is of course it's a public button and we're gonna call it the send button and of course it's a get setter we're gonna return You gotta return the send button. Okay, so we're just gonna <coughs> make this send message, send message button so that we can put this bit here the send button here so we will be good to go so the next bit of course we're gonna set put our setter so we're gonna say send send button is our value so as you can see it's a, it's a pretty straightforward stuff so the next bit will be the public scroll scroll viewer and we're gonna call it content scroll um, scroll viewer and it's a get return the message content Return the um, I mean the content 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 scroller. So the set will be content scroller is equal to the value. So the next bit will be text box. Um, it's a public test box, and this will be message container. And it will be, we're going to return the message content. So the setter will be the message <coughs> content is value. So the last item will be the item control. 
So we call this message display. So get return. message template so we set the message the message template is equal to the value so as you can see it's a <coughs> pretty simple stuff so the next bit is uh, we, we come inside um, the main And we're going to do some few work here. So here, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to make it minimum height instead. And minimum width will be 300 as well. So as you can see, we've got nothing inside. So we come to the, the, the view model here. As you can see, we've got nothing inside. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it public. But we come back to it. But we have to go back to the main side as well. Um, so here, our local, we set our local to view. view model so right after this bit here this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put our user control user control dot data contest say local message view model so that's what we've got. So the next bit is inside this grid here, we're gonna set the background to gray. And we're gonna add an event, a loaded event. So we create a method So as you can see, we've got a method created. So now inside our main, we're gonna add some few stuff. <coughs> so as you can see, we've already got the main window, the user added, but we're gonna add some, some few stuff. <coughs> so it's a private observable collection. message and this will be messages and we're gonna do <coughs> it's a private read only solid color brush array we're just gonna name this user background And we have, we set the, uh, an instance of it. We're just gonna put four inside for now. So the next bit is, private user. And this will be <coughs> user. So that's that's what we've got for now. So after this bit here, 
So we already have a user here, so I'm just gonna make this bit, change this bit and make it an underscore user here. So we can remove this bit here. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the background. We say um, windows dot background. I mean, the, we set the width first. The width is equal to five. We set it to five hundred and forty. Window dot <coughs> dot um height is equal to 400 and then user background So this bit here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, copy and paste the colors here so you can ha have a look and type it later on just to save time. So this is what I'm going to do. So I've just copied and pasted the, the colors here so you can have a look and and then make the, all the changes that is needed. So this is what we got here for now. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is I'm just going to put a, a very simple method inside this bit, uh, inside the loaded bit here. So we're going to put just uh, just a simple timer. This will be a new instance of a timer so we could put an obj for object representation we put a null for the object state then we put a time span dot from seconds dot from seconds one then we copy and paste the same thing. Here, so inside this bit here, we're gonna say window dot main view dot dispatcher dot invoke so we're going to put this inside the dispatcher so we're going to say title so we're going to have to come back inside this bit here and put some more stuff in here so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it for here and continue on the next part. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and catch up on the next video. Have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Peace.